We're taking a live look now. Uh, still some hazy skies mm -hmm. across Indianapolis, and uh, we're talking about how the wildfires out west are contributing to Right, it's just that smoke. It's just running with the upper level winds that we have, mm -hmm. and it's bringing it right into central Indiana, and it's just sitting over us right now, and that's why we do have the haze. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And so we're going to keep the haze around central Indiana at least for the next day or so. As you can see from our camera network, Morse Reservoir looking a little bit sunnier there, but still hazy all across the area from Noblesville to Kokomo to Connorsville. We have some clouds overhead as well as I put on the visible satellite here. You can see some of those clouds streaming in. We're going to stay dry today. It's going to be a bigger warm up today. We also have air quality issues out there, especially if you are, have chronic respiratory problems. This is a day to stay indoors. We have a lot of air particulates that unfortunately with this high pressure, it's allowing all of that to just settle into the low levels of the atmosphere. So a good day to stay indoors if you have some respiratory issues. Today we'll see those hazy skies. Temperatures will climb into the mid 80s this afternoon. A few degrees warmer than yesterday as the winds start to shift out of the south. During the overnight we will only fall into the mid to upper 60s. So it will be another mild evening with hazy skies this evening. The clear out a bit during the overnight. Then tomorrow we will bring in some scattered shower chances. Don't think it's going to be a big rainmaker and most of it stays in north central Indiana. That will help out some of those areas that have those air particulates hanging out. So a shower would actually be encouraged during the day tomorrow, but we'll see temperatures climbing even warmer into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees and heat indices will make it feel like it's 90. As we go into Saturday, more heat, more humidity. It will feel like the mid to upper 90s Saturday afternoon as temperatures soar into the upper 80s to low 90s on Saturday afternoon. As we get into Sunday, we're going to continue to see those dew points moistening up. It's going to be really oppressive. We'll see those dew points in the low 70s Sunday afternoon, and it will be even hotter yet as temperatures climb into the low 90s on Sunday, making it feel like it's back into those mid to upper 90s. I do think some areas will actually make it into the triple digits on Sunday afternoon. As far as rain chances go, we do have rain chances on Saturday and Sunday, Monday too. So this goes through Monday evening. Again, not a big chance of any rain like we had last week. However, there will be some scattered showers here and there, but it will only amount to likely a quarter of an inch, perhaps a half an inch in some locations. So we'll keep you updated as those models start to really Z zero in on the best chances. 85 degrees will be our high for today under those hazy skies. We'll keep a chance of a shower too, but mainly dry on Friday. Highs in the upper 80s. 90 degrees the high for Saturday and Sunday. Again, mainly dry, but we do have some isolated storm chances just with the heat of the day. A cold front will sweep through Saturday night and during the day Sunday. That will bring slightly cooler air and lower humidity on Monday with highs in the upper 80s, but we really have storms chances Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but they're not great.